Look at the difference. That just opens up the eye. It's like, hello, sunshine. You know you want your eyes to look like hello, sunshine. Okay, there's nothing worse than filming an intro and realizing your microphone's not on, so nothing got picked up. <sighs> Story of my life. Okay, so we have a Makeup Geek launch. First one of 2019. Absolutely love it. I used four or five of the colors, so we're going to go through that. And you have a tutorial. Come for the review. Stay for the tutorial. Here we go. So we do have Midnight Waltz, which is a great gray. Haven't seen a great gray in the market in a long time. Love, love, love the Midnight Waltz. I use that on the outer corner. We have Surf's Up, and this blue is a beautiful blue. Not an 80s, horrible color in your face, which there are some pretty bright, bright blues, but they're very hard to use when they're bright. So this Surf's Up makes a beautiful blue eye that you can wear to work or after work. We also have this color here called Egyptian Queen. I can't wait to get into that little bad boy. And this one was quite a surprise. Tinsel Town here is what I started in the crease working its way up. Absolutely went on like a dream. We have Pumpkin, and I love this for spring or summer or fall. Um, next we have Showgirl, which is a beautiful green, and I can't wait to use that. Maybe in the, the corner of the eye, because it is stunning. We have Prism, which is a duochrome. It's on the middle of my eye here. It's got a nice shift of peach, which I think added to this eye look. And then on the inner corner, we use some Mirror Mirror. So I really love Makeup Geek for more than one reason. I have like four or five. A, made in the USA quality. Boom. That's all we need to know. I have a, uh, there's a competitor of hers that, or a makeup competitor, that during the, the regular season, they do high quality. And then during holiday, they do holiday packages. And that's done at a manufacturing facility across the seas. If I use those eyeshadows from across the seas, I know I'm going to have trouble. And I do. My eyes hate it. I don't know if our manufacturing facilities in the U.S. is just held to a higher standard. I have no clue, but I know I'm going to have problems. I know Marlena mentioned maybe going across seas. She did a poll. Please don't do that. I know you would try to find a facility that does a great job, but unless you're going to be there 24-7, I, I don't know that I would necessarily trust another facility outside the United States. So just kind of a side little rabbit trail wrap trail there. So um, what I love about Makeup Geek is these colors went on really flawless. They blended well as you applied them. I didn't use a blender until I did prism on the inside and then I just kind of, because I patted it on, I wanted to go ahead and just soften the edges and that's the only time I blended. You'll see that in the video. If you can put on an eyeshadow that doesn't have fallout, already works well together, doesn't doesn't get muddy, blends well as you're applying, what more do you need? I don't spend a lot of time using her products, trying to blend them together, tilting my head back to see if there's patchiness. I don't have any of those issues. The price to me is really good for the size of the pan you get. So again, I think the prices are well worth it. I love, love, love the quality. Again, no fallout. Blends well without having to blend. No fallout. Blending well. The color pigmentation off the hook. No patchiness made in the USA. All right, we have five right there. Then I used her Kathleen Highlight palette for a bit of gold to kind of warm up the cool tone eye that I did. I also used her Elegant Eyelashes. I love the Elegant Eyelashes or all of her eyelashes. Again, I've got like top four reasons. A, they are wide. So for people that have wider lids like I do, you want something like that. I don't have to cut these down. The other thing, I love the band. The band is very soft. So when you put them on, you don't feel like you're wearing false eyelashes. Love that. The other piece that I like is you can use them multiple times. I can't even tell you how many times that I've used this, this set called Elegant. 
So they're priced inexpensively out the gate, but because you can use them so many times, that price continues to come down every single time you use them. So for me, it's a win-win. Um, I went ahead and purchased all of them, and then when I realized how much I loved them, I purchased another set. So I just, to me, going with her eyelashes is an absolute win. And they are so gorgeous, y'all. It doesn't matter which set you get. They are just gorgeous. So she has high quality with a budget-friendly price. And I think I love that about Marlena also. She loves giving women upscale products for a reasonable price. You don't see that very often in the makeup industry. So she's just held true to her roots of trying to, you know, make women feel good on a, a, a great budget. She hasn't had to take the consumer to, you know, she hasn't had to abuse the consumer's pocketbook and really has an amazing product. What I am surprised about is how it hasn't really spread throughout the makeup community long before now because, or spread deeper because hands down her products out outrank anything else that, that I use. I do have some other favorites, but hers is definitely the top one that when she puts out a new product, I buy it. In fact, I think it was my aunt was here, an aunt or one of my friends, and that storage area over there from top to bottom is, uh, not top to bottom, but from the top, probably midway, is just Makeup Geek items. Um, I really, really like having her, basically all of her products in one area. And my aunt said, oh my gosh, you have this decorated kind of like a storefront. She said, this is gorgeous. So yeah, I just, I've become a Makeup Geek geek over the years. I also like her tutorials and that's what rolled or reined me in or made me one of her fans is because I liked her tutorials. And she was actually the first YouTuber I ever watched on how to put on makeup. And that really helped me and kind of helped change my life there because I only had like a makeup bag full of the same colors I used for like 10 years. So between her tutorials and my sister-in-law pushing me to start a YouTube channel, well, here I am. All right, so I've done a lot of talking. I have had a lot of coffee this morning. Go Chiefs. Even though we didn't make it to a Super Bowl, I might still be bitter, but we have next season. Okay, enough about the rabbit trails. All right, y'all, we're going to get into the video tutorial on this cool tone bluish gray eye look. I hope you like it. Please put your comments, questions below. I always love interacting. Here we go. Okay, so today we're going to try some of the new launch from the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So I'm pretty pumped about this. Pretty, pretty pumped. They have another set getting ready to be released, hopefully soon. It has a lot of like pinky colors. Um, I'm really hoping they do that before Valentine's Day because it would be like the perfect Valentine's Day look. So, Makeup Geek, if you're listening, we need those babies released soon. For the base of the eye, I'm going to start out with one of their oldie but goodies, Vanilla Bean. And that's going to be the base of my eyeshadow. I'm going to start out with this color here, Tinseltown. And that's going to go in our crease and a little bit above that. Okay, I really like this color already. Oh, really, really? Already ready? It's blending just like you know Makeup Geek would. All right, we're gonna take the color Surf's Up next, which is a really pretty blue color. I have no clue what I'm doing again. We're playing. And I think I'm gonna have this go the majority of the eyelid up to the crease. As far as the blue goes, I like this blue. It's kind of blue-gray, so it's not in your face super bright. It's just kind of a cool toned, really pretty blue. So what's up, y'all? Next, I want to take this gray, and I'm so excited about having a gray come out. This one is called Midnight Waltz. I don't know that I've seen any grays come out in a while, so this has been kind of a nice surprise. These things are blending amazing. Woohoo! Now I did a swatch test yesterday and I don't do swatch tests very good. I'm not sure how much pressure to use, how much not to make it totally true. I get 
I can't stand when I see people do swatch tests and it's like their skin is dragging. This one I probably did pretty light as far as the touch goes, so I wasn't sure how this color would perform. So anyone that saw my swatches know the color performs amazing. I did not do it justice on the swatch test. That's why I hate swatching. Okay, so we have this color mirror mirror. I'm trying to debate between these two right now. And prism. And they both have pretty shift. Ooh. Okay, this this one is white. Prism has a little bit more of a peachy look. So I'm gonna go with prism. Ooh. Okay, absolutely love that. I'm going to take the brush I was using and just kind of smooth over a bit of the line. And that is gorgeous. I love how, for the most part, you really don't have to blend with these eyeshadows. And I didn't blend other than that line to show you how nice these Taking that really angle. are. This is in number 77. I really like that color Surf's Up, so we're going to take the Surf's Up Woo. and go right up underneath that black liner. And we're going to take, I'm going to go ahead and take this one, forgot, oh, forgot the name already, Mira Mira. We're going to apply our first coat of mascara with the de Double Decker Lashes. From but I love the look it. would not be complete without some eyelashes from Makeup Geek. These are elegant. Look at the difference. That just opens up the eye. It's like, hello, sunshine. You know you want your eyes to look like hello, sunshine. You know you want your eyes to look like hello, sunshine. The last thing I like to do when placing false eyelashes on is go ahead and use another coat of mascara over mine just to adhere my eyelashes to the false ones so that it'll hold better because I'm always afraid if the glue gives out will the mascara hold because you know we're looking for the perfect eyelashes I am cursed by the mascara gods they hate me or maybe they love themselves so much they want mascara to go new places but I think I'm cursed